I am Eduardo. Everybody call me Eddie. And I work at the newsstand. I am a salesman, uh, the morning guy. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Happy Monday. Thank you. This will be my 17th year. I'm very happy. Since I start to work here at the newsstand with Mr. Ral, very happy. Almost all the locals, all the neighbors, okay, everybody morning. knows me. Thank it's like a, a little family. Thank you, sir. Mr. James, good morning, sir. How are you? Good. Everything okay so far? Good. good, sir. Okay. Stay happy Monday, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Happy Monday. New York, Wall Street, Financial Times, New York Post, and LA Times. Financial Times and Wall Street. Perfect. We have a cookie for Mr. Jake. Here is Mr. Jake. I have customers that are, you know, <laughs> like bankers, like advisors, doctors. So, Mr. Al, say thank you for you, Eddie, because sometimes the guys are coming and you already know what, what kind what kind of paper magazine like wants. Good to see you, my always, friend, okay? Always. I'll see you. I'll be here till Thursday. Oh, okay. I'm come back and see you. Okay. We'll talk some more. Yeah, yes, yeah, if you yeah. need something, you know, we are here ready, okay? Yeah, man, good to see you. No. Hey, Maggie, good morning. How are you? Good, good. No. She likes all French magazines. So she looking, we had something. <laughs> yes, I bought here to Mr. Al. Um, how much was it that you collected from him? Uh, 15 plus tax, 1643. <laughs> I started selling papers when I was eight because I wanted extra money in my pocket. When here I am, I'm 79 years old and I'm still selling papers. My name is Alan Brooks, and I own Al's Newsstand. I'm one of the last standing newsstands. We opened this in 89. It was like a little gold mine. And people, they were hungry for a newsstand in Beverly Hills. And I had a total of eight different newsstands, but I made a great living. I put two kids through college. I was very, very happy with it. And you're nine years old? Yeah. You like George and Archie, my grandsons. I just like talking to people. I like doing business, making money. And that's just a nice sense of community that I enjoy when that wells up. That, that, that's what sort of nurtures me. Thank you so much. You just live around the corner. You got it. Okay. The biggest seller of any magazine that I had was when Jennifer Aniston broke up with Brad Pitt. I sold 1140 Vanity Fair of Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt breakup. But the newsstand business has definitely changed. It's become prehistoric, and that's because of the internet. A lot of magazines went to online only, and people said, where's, where's my uh, Glamour magazine? And I'm saying, you have to go online to get that. Good morning, can you stand? Oh, no, miss, no, not yet. No more, miss, sorry. Used to be sell that paper, but no, no more. Yes, it's easier if you go, you, you know, digital or internet, because I don't know that somebody has the print paper. You know, in the good time, used to be had five, six very good yeah, magazines. Now, no, you know, no key, yes. You know, now digital, internet, is not like used to be, sir. 60% of our customers, clients are, you know, over 50 years old, and it's still the issue that they still like to fill the paper, uh, fill the magazine, sometimes feel that it smell. This, happiest day of my life. Los Angeles Dodgers, world champions after 32 years. Awesome. I come here all the time because when big things happen, like, the Dodgers, when they won the World Series, that was a big seller here. And then recent election when Biden won and you wanted to get the, uh, the issue of it, you know, you got it. Yes, everything's on the internet now, but it's nice to physically hold something in your hand and stuff like that. So I don't think my kids will. My kids are glued to their phones. <laughs> so everything's still on their phone, but I'm in my late 50s, so I'm still old school to a certain extent. Up until the pandemic hit us in March, we were holding our own. But 
there's a lot of stores that have closed or been shuttered on South Beverly Drive. And that's affected us because we don't have the, uh, the traffic flow that we had two years ago. Quinn. Quinn. Right an elbow, Quinn. <laughs> Come on, don't be afraid. Come on, do you play baseball? Yeah. I still get the people that will bring their kids by and people that we have our regulars, but the traffic pattern isn't what it was back in, you know, three and four or five years ago. Yes, the la niña, verdad? Eh, fifteen dollars. Just make change. Yes, okay, Mr. Yes. If I'm allowed to bring in items that will help make make a profit, cigarettes, candy, miscellaneous, water, chips, and increase my revenue, will stay. And if not, I would have to think of selling it. But my passion right now is I like old retro magazines. I have a bunch of older uh, Life posts, Saturday evening posts, Life and Look. My old classic Playboy magazines, comic books, and baseball cards. People are gratified that they can see something that they haven't seen for 20 or 30 years and pick it up and buy it. So I find a way to deal in those. But I don't want you bending yeah. the cards at all. I wonder if it's at the base of it. I think it was like one of the first ones. Okay. We've to. lost part of the interaction with people. We've become so technologically absorbed. You, I mean, you miss a lot of the realism of touching and tactileness with people and interchanging. You need to have conversations with people that share your ideas with me. I may not accept it, but I'm hearing a point of view that could be beneficial to me in the long run. The other day came one of family from overseas. And one of, I remember one of the kids uh, about maybe seven years old, told your dad, hey dad, what is this? What is a newsstand? What is a newsstand? I don't know. What is a newsstand? <laughs> so we'll see what <laughs> was, was very funny. <laughs> Take care, okay? Happy Monday. See you later. <laughs>